welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear. And today I'm here to do a new release book review for The Last Watch by J.S. Dews. This was published in April of 2021. This is a space opera, which is my favorite subgenre of science fiction. And in this, we start with Cavallon, who is of royal descent, and he has committed treason against the emperor, his grandfather, and has thus been sent to the Divide. And at the Divide, they have a series of ships, and the soldiers there are called Sentinels. But these soldiers are the criminals of the Legion. And they've been sent to watch the edge of the universe for where their last big enemies, the Viators, an alien race, had come from that direction. Now, at the Divide, we also meet the commander, Adequin Rake, who, for reasons of her own, have also been sent there, even though she used to be one of the elite warriors, the Titans. And she's been given command, which she sees as a punishment for her past crimes. And she's trying to be an exemplar. She's trying to be an exemplary commander, even though she feels inadequate. Pretty soon after Cavallon arrives, it comes to Adequin and her Optio's um, Jack in North. Their uh, attention that the divide, which is the edge of the universe, is shrinking. It's coming inward, whereas before it had stayed steady, but now it's moving towards them. And, you know, the edge of the universe just mean, or with the divide, it reminded me a lot of the nothing or nothingness from the never ending story, where once it hits you, that's it. You don't exist anymore. And so now Adequin, it, who has about 200 soldiers under her command, is trying to figure out how to save them. And there has been no contact from Legion headquarters because these, these crew members are still part of the Legion. They are soldiers who have been court-martialed and their punishment was to come out to the edge of the universe but they are still considered soldiers. Also, if you like Game of Thrones, the whole at the edge of the universe reminds me a lot of the Black Watch. And I think in one of the taglines I read for this story, that was one of the comparisons that was made. J.S. Deuce does some very interesting character work with this. You get to see some initial banter set up between Cavallon and Adequin. The vibes that are set up, the interaction, you could see a romance blossoming or attraction blossoming from them but then she very quickly makes it so that that's not the case between these two characters. You can see a trust that is formed especially as Adequin as things are happening she knows that Cavallon has certain education. I mean Cavallon has three degrees in various subjects and so as things are happening it just works out that he has the education needed to do something about the problems that are happening, which allows them to create a working relationship that has a bond where she is wanting to help him through his issues, but at the same time have that professional relationship. I think J.S. Dews did a great job of having strong characters, but at the same time allowing them to be vulnerable and to show that vulnerability to the various people in their lives. So, yeah. I don't think we have any characters here who have a chip on their shoulder. That isn't a archetype that we have in this story. But we do, I mean, we have snarky, we have uh, those who want revenge. We have various other archetypes, but the chip on the shoulder is one that is not there, which I did appreciate. And the supporting cast of characters around Adequin and Cavallon, I think were very well done. There are definitely some interesting characters like Mesa and Jack and North, 
who I am wanting to see what happens in the second book of, I believe this is a duology, and see how much further they are played out or their personalities are teased out in context of what is happening with this story. So for like the plot of this story, it's nuanced. That's the best way I can describe it. You have the you have the political backdrop of what Cavalon was doing before he gets into the divide and then adding on top of the divide moving on top of that you get to see how those things interacted and how the political mess in itself would have been you know a lot of issues anyway but now another the universe coming in and destroying things as it shrinks is has not complicated what politics had already laid out had already been trying to lay out for power issues um, this is a very fast-paced story for everything that's happening there there's the action and it either is like, do they succeed yes or no and from there like it's the next chain of events that lead to the next chain of events and the next chain of events that get us to the end and I like the twists that were interwoven into the story and how they play out in the end especially I mean if you like characters this is a character driven story yes you can see that there's a plot structure underneath but it's because of the characters personalities that the plot can work if any of these characters had had a different personality, the plot would not work. But it's because of the characters that the plot happens. And those are my favorite type of stories. And I'm looking forward to reading the second, which is already out from what I understand. They both came out in 2021. So you'll probably get to see another new release video of me talking about that one. Have you read this? Have you read... The Last Watch by J.S. Dews. If so, down below, tell me what you thought of this book. If you haven't, are you interested in reading it now? Thank you and have a great day.